Alright y'all, in this video, we're gonna be finding out whether the shot stick is still worth using. So when the game first dropped, I made a video saying, guys, please start using the shot stick because 2K, the developers told us that if you use the shot stick, when you release the ball, if you release it properly, that you get a boost on your shot. So on top of if you make a good release, you on top of you get a boost on top of that. And so it took me a little bit of testing and I found out that everybody better be fucking using the shot stick because that boost is on point. And so I made a video on it. The video did phenomenal. But then 2K decided to patch some things up so that video is no longer... What's the word I'm looking for? Relevant, yeah. In one of 2K's recent patches, they significantly decreased the boost you get from using the shot stick. So in this video, we're gonna find out whether you should switch back to using Square or continue using the shot stick. And we're gonna be doing that by taking 50 shots with Stephen Curry in a regular practice arena. So, in 50 of the shots, I'm gonna be using the shot stick, and 50 of the shots, I'm gonna be using the square button. We're gonna see where the difference is. Now, keep in mind, you can get a boost if you use the shot stick correctly, but if you fuck up the shot stick, you actually get a negative, so you'd be better off using square. So the shot stick is something you already have to get used to. Now, before we get into the test real quick, I wanna lay down exactly what we're testing. The major pro with using the shot stick was the boost that you get. That was it, that was the only pro and it was a big boost and so it overcame all the negatives. And so to get to the negatives, there's quite a bit of them. And there's a lot of those negatives, so one of them being the controller input delay. You can go up with the shot faster if you use square than if you use the right stick. If you use the right stick, the, the controller in the game has to register, no, 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 he's not trying to dribble, he's trying to pull up for a shot. And so in that tiny bit of time it takes for it to make that assumption, it's so easy for people to close out on you. I'm telling you that extra time it takes you to use the shot, it is, it is a killer, but it's something you have to get used to if you've been using the shot stick. The second negative is that you can find it up I mentioned that and so you get the boost if you do it right but if you don't do it right if you don't pull directly down on the right stick and you don't see that green marker next to the white ticker if you see a blue marker that means you actually got a negative on your shot the thing about the shot meter is it helps you control your shot so if you take your controller and you push it all the way to the left that means the chances of your shot fading to the left is greatly increased so the, the closer you can get it down the middle not only do you get the boost but the shot actually lines up so it's a bigger chance of it going in and so if you always want your shot to line up and you're great with the shot stick I still recommend I think it's still worth using and the last big negative before we get into the actual test is it's so much easier to release the, the fucking shot when you click square at least for me it might be different for y'all trust me I've been a proponent of the shot stick from 2k 10 to 2k 15 2k 16 I threw it away the input delay was driving me crazy. So 2K17, they said, you get a bonus? I'm like, let me hop back on the shot stick. But you release the ball so much more accurately with Square because with Square, all you have to do is release, right? With this one, you have to make sure not only did you put perfectly put it down, but you release it properly. It, it is a lot more difficult to release with that right stick. But once you perfect the right stick, and you get the bonus, you start wondering, yo, why would you still use Square? So in this video, we're gonna determine whether everybody should be going back to Square after the patch, or whether you should be sticking with the right stick. Let's go. All right, so we're getting into the actual testing. We're gonna start off with the shot stick. We're taking 50 shots in a half court. I got the rebounders passing me the ball. I wanted to keep some things consistent. I wanted to stay as close to the three-point line as possible. I wanted to make sure my release was as good as it can be. And I also wanted to make sure that it was a catch and shoot situation because the badge affects the actual shot. And so I didn't want some to be catch and shoot and some not to be. But there's instances where Stephen Curry would celebrate and run backwards, but I didn't wanna, you know, take into account limitless range etc so I had to walk back up to the three-point line and so he didn't get the boost on those shots but to, for the most point these are as accurate as a as a findings as you're gonna get all right I'm not a fucking university professor out here trying to make everything down to a T we're just really trying to find with the ballpark estimate whether y'all should be still using the shot stick or you should be switching to the square and to be honest I'm more doing this for me because I'm trying to figure out if it's still worth it and there's games and you know what for the next two uploads I'll let y'all know and I'll give you guys a counter I'm on the shots I made once I'm done shooting for those who are like agent we don't know how much shots you mean I'll, I'll let you guys know at the end out of 50 how much shots I made with the shot stick and then we're gonna get into the, the square button and I'll, I'll let you know for the same. Uh, but as I was saying, tomorrow and the day after, I'll upload two gameplays. One will be with the shot stick, one will be with the square button. So I'll, I'll let y'all see it for yourselves, to be honest, I was undecided at that point whether which one I should use. I was debating between the two. To be honest, I could release the ball really well with either. It was just a matter of whether the bonus that you get from using the shot stick is worth it. 
So, uh, we're closing in on 50 shots right here. You should see me trying to get as many greens as possible uh, using the shot stick. Anyway, it's we're using Stephen Curry, so also the best shooter in the game. So, we wanted to make sure that there was no variables missing. A good shooter in perfect situation. See how much greens he can get, see, see how much shots he can make. And the amount I made was 45. So with the shot stick, I made 45 out of 50 shots wide open. So now we're switching up and we're looking at the square button. Now, it, it, I've been using the square button a little bit more recently, just trying to test things out. And I'm letting y'all know right now, it is so much easier to release with square. So not only do you not have to deal with that input delay, if it's trying to figure out, are you trying to do a dribble move or are you trying to pull for a shot agent? And now it knows off rip, square does one thing. It pump fakes or goes up for a shot. And so you're gonna go up for the shot quicker using the square button. So for example, if you're a playmaker and you're doing a double move and you're trying to get yourself open, if you don't have time, if you're a shot creator, for example, you, th you think someone's gonna close out and you need to pull up as soon as possible, it should already be known. You should be shooting with square because that disadvantage you get. For sharpshooters, for example, we have to pause a second before we shoot regardless because we don't wanna have a moving shot, we wanna have a standing shot so that our shot is a 94, right? Rather than like a 72. It's gonna depend on your archetype. It's gonna depend on how you play. For example, I have a shot creator on my team who uh, he, who consistently comes off pick and rolls and pulls up for the shot. It wouldn't make sense for him to shoot with the right stick because it'd give people a lot more time to close out on him. But for me, he passes the ball back to me. I have Hall of Fame long range dead eye. I have, I have all these badges, limitless range. It makes sense if the boost was enough for a player like me, a sharpshooter, to be making my shots using the right stick. Uh, but so you'll continue to see me shoot with square the thing with square is it's a little inconsistent So you know how with the right stick you can actually control your shot with the square It's a little bit more random So you have to make sure you have a good release if you're shooting with square or else it's definitely gonna be off Especially after this next patch comes up and they reduce shooting even more if your shot isn't on point There's gonna be some problems for you uh, and we're about to close in looks like a final shot right here Bang so I made 41 out of 50 with the square button. So I made 45 with the shot stick and 41 with the square. Four shot difference, y'all. Four. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of variables that could have been changed, you know, that'll make a slight difference. Like, can I have released some shots better? Of course. But you're gonna make mistakes, especially when someone's closing out on you in game with the shot with the shot stick, you're gonna make errors. You're trying to go up for a shot quickly, you might flick it the wrong direction, you might get blue instead of green. And for me, when the game launched, it was obvious with the boost that y'all should be shooting with the what are y'all doing not shooting with the shot stick? It was obvious. But it became a lot less obvious once they patched the shot stick. So I'm gonna Give my final verdict right now and then a little bit of explanation y'all should go back to using the square button i've went back to using the square button as of last night i will not be shooting with the shot stick anymore i am done with the shot stick unless it sees some changes it was once worth it and it just isn't anymore. That being said, if you guys are not good shooters, I recommend staying with the right stick because if you shoot with square, you do not get the boost. You have to release the ball perfectly. So you'll see me in an upcoming gameplay I'm gonna be uploading where pretty much all, I took like maybe 16 shots and 15 of those were hugging the line. Should have got greens, but I didn't. So if you're not releasing the ball perfectly, if you don't know your release to a T, if you don't know this stuff, then I recommend sticking with the boost, the small boost that you do get, it's worthwhile. That being said, of course, you'll get all the negatives that come with using the shot stick, but I think that's something you're gonna have to deal with until you can be comfortable with your release, you know what I mean? But for the people out there that are shooting lights out, all right, if you're that shot creator that's consistently making threes or that sharp shooter that just can't fucking miss, so if you're that player, go back to using square. It's a sad reality, I had to make the change, but that's my verdict. 45 out of 50 on the shot stick, 41 out of 50 on the square. Four shots out of 50 of a difference with all those negatives? Uh, nah, 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 nah. And not just, this isn't just based on the test that I did this video. This is based on all the games I've played on Pro-Am and on Park, etc. It is a lot easier for you to deal with the latency of online when you're releasing, when you release with square. So the second they reduced that boost, I was like, ah, oh, I might gotta switch back to the fucking square button right now? That kind of sucks. So here's another 2K where I'm not using the shot stick, unfortunately. So there it is. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you guys are new, y'all want to see more 2K17 content, I'm going to catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.